to our space. I am using a blanket. You can use a blanket or a beach towel, um, something completely optional, but I really like it because it helps pat up the bottom and then pat up the knees um, when we are in our kneeling positions. I'm also using two yoga blocks. This is something that's not necessary, but handy to have if we want to bring the earth up to us. Um, two blocks, I mean two books, excuse me, will be just fine too um, if that's what you have at home. So that said, let's go ahead and get into a comfortable seated position, whether the legs are crossed or if you'd like to have them out front or maybe even in a V shape. Take a few minutes to kind of shift around, adjust, get those fleshy parts so that you can really feel grounded into the earth. And then when we arrive into that comfortable space, go ahead and roll the shoulders up towards the ears. And with an exhale, release and sigh it all out. Let's do that again. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears, squeeze at the top for just a moment, and then exhale, sigh it out and release. Let's do that one more time because it feels good. Take it up, squeeze at the top, and exhale, roll it down and release. Hands are on top of the knees. And let's just start to rock a little bit forward and back. Just a little subtle movement just to start with, just rocking forward and back. Just doing a little scan of the body, checking in and seeing how it's feeling, what it's craving, what it needs. Sometimes these first few moments in our practice is a perfect time to connect the mind with the body and just check in. Sometimes we don't realize we have sore spaces or sometimes we realize how sore a space is when we take these few moments. Starting to make this movement a little bit bigger, start to dip the chest in towards the legs and roll back. A few of these times with the seated cat cow, rolling chest down and rotating up. Let's do that with an inhale as we come forward and an exhale as we come up. Inhale, bow forward, exhale, round and rise. A few more times, getting that flexion in the spine. and then roll back up to seated. Taking the hands above the head, stretch and reach, and then release those shoulders so that they're down the back. We're just growing tall here and feeling that height as we press the crown of the head up and the tailbone down. Again, a little check-in where we bring that belly button in towards the spine and feel the engagement in the core. Inhale, up a little bit more with those fingertips. And on that exhale, we're going to twist over to the right side, releasing the right hand behind the spine and that left hand to the top of the knee. Take a peek over the back shoulder and just breathe into this twist for a few breaths. Without coming out of the twist, let's just slowly turn the chin towards that front shoulder. Peeking now over the front shoulder, still staying twisted in the upper back, and take a few breaths here. Bring the head back to neutral, release the hands, growing tall in the spine. Now let's turn to that opposite side, taking that right hand on top of the left knee, and that left hand is right behind the spine, so we can use it as a kickstand so we stay tall and twist a little bit deeper. Peeking over the back shoulder and making sure that hand that's on the knee is not gripping too tight. Nice deep breaths. And without coming out of the twist, slowly turn the chin towards the front shoulder and peek over the front shoulder. Bring head back to neutral, release that twist, 
Bring the palms up tall, and then cactus the heart open here. <sighs> Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, cactus again. Let's do that once more. Inhale, gaze all those fingertips up. Exhale, cactus open. We're gonna bring the hands around and give ourselves a hug here, taking the fingertips to the shoulders and the elbows stack over each other. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Keep that belly button in so that we're protecting lower back. And just getting this nice rounding into the upper shoulders. Tucking the chin in here and breathe. Raise the chin up from the chest, and then let's just slowly bring those elbow points up towards the ceiling. Slowly release back down to the chest, and we'll do that once more. Elbows reach up towards the ceiling, feeling this broadening into the back of the shoulders, and lower back down. Unwind the arms, take them out into a nice wide T. Roll the chest open, palms are facing forward. Let's just pause here for a moment. And then we're gonna cross the arms once again. Let's bring that opposite arm on top. So the opposite elbow comes on top. Snuggle the shoulders in to the back. I was, excuse me, chest <laughs> talking. Stru <laughs> Snuggle the palms into the shoulders. Tuck that belly button in so that we're protecting lower back. And then draw the chin down towards the chest. Come into this little cave here for a moment. Two more long deep breaths. Release the chin from the chest and then draw those elbow points up towards the ceiling. Release them back down to the chest. And one more time, elbows come up towards the ceiling and then back down towards the chest. Releasing the cross of the hands, draw them into this nice wide T, palms facing forward, shine the chest open. Should feel good if we've been hunched over our desks or paintbrushes <laughs> or computers, opening for a moment, broadening the heart. Release the hands down to the knees once more. Let's dip the chin in towards the chest, finding a few neck rolls. Option to keep them as half neck rolls, or if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, find that full neck roll. Just a reminder that the neck can be kind of fragile, so we don't want to just toss the head around. We want to be very mindful and gentle as we move into the neck. And if you are practicing full neck rolls, let's go ahead and turn the direction. And if you are just doing the half moons, just continue to do that for a few more moments. Take your time to bring that chin back towards the chest and then raise the head up. Coming around into our kneeling position. You can use that blanket. We're actually going to come down a little bit onto those. We're going to come onto the knees, but I'm going to come into a kneeling position. If you have any problems with this, if it feels sore at all to come down with the bottom towards the heels, you can use that blanket or that beach towel to place between the thighs and the shins, or the back of the calves, I should say. <clears throat> or you can even use that blanket just to have it down underneath the shins to protect the knees and the shins. I'm not gonna be here super long. Just taking a moment in this kneeling position, bring the palms behind the lower back. And just like before, when we were shining that chest forward, bring that chest up towards the sky and chin is facing up. Palms are down on the sacrum, fingertips are pointing down towards the heels. 
and see if we can pinch those elbows towards each other a little bit more. Nice heart opening. Long deep breaths. Release the back bend and bring the palms to the top of the thighs. We're going to find a few more of those seated cat cows, but this time in kneeling. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit, but just to start, bring the hands down towards the knees, tuck the chin in towards the chest. Hands come up towards the thighs, open up. Inhale as we come down. Exhale, open. Let's do this a few more times. Really getting the spine nice and warmed up. And you can pick up the pace a little bit more. Just a few more times. Rocking that chest forward and then rolling back. Spine should start to feel supple and awake. Come back up to the top of the thighs, raise the fingertips up. Left hand comes down towards the earth as that right hand stretches and reaches overhead. See if we can reach just a little bit further. Use that hand on the earth to support you as you raise back up. And then we release now that right hand down, left hand overhead. Feel the heart open, roll the shoulder back. And breathe. Sweep the hand around and come on back up nice and tall. Start to bring those hips up off of the heels. Fingertips are high for a moment to find this length. And then release the palms to the lower back, facing down towards the glutes. Roll the shoulders back. Just a little modified camel here, opening the chest. Getting a little back bend. Straightening the back, bring the palms down to the earth. Removing any props that you have out of the way, unless you have them under the knees, keep it there. Place the hands underneath the shoulders. And you can kind of bring those feet up a few minutes, kind of, kind of rock them around, roll off the ankles, getting that blood flow back again after sitting on our kneeling position for a few moments. <laughs> All right, go ahead and bring those knees underneath the hips and hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to find a few more of those cat cows. Really getting that spine nice and warm before we get into our deep practice. So bringing that chin in towards chest, tailbone in, round in the back. And then start to take that tailbone back, dip the belly down, peek up. Let's do that twice more. Dip the chin in towards center. Belly comes in, round. Now release the belly down, come into our cow. One more time, rounding up into our cat. Releasing into our cow. Coming into our neutral tabletop position, just going to shift that hip. So I'm going to make it really sassy over to the right side of the mat. Take a peek over the left shoulder. Hold that hip here for just a moment, stretching into the hip, pressing firmly into both palms. Come back to center in our tabletop position and then swish that hip over towards the opposite side over to the left side and peek over the right shoulder. Should really good, feel really good to stretch into the hip as well as the side body. Come back around to that tabletop position and this time we're going to move with this a little bit. 
So take that hip over to the right, then slowly draw the bottom down towards the heels like we had in our kneeling position, up through the left, and rotate around. A few more times, finding these barrel rolls, and we can kind of rub the belly across the top of the thighs. That helps with digestion as well. So shift all the way around and through, getting into these hips. Agreeing with our movement. And the next time that we're upright, we'll switch direction, taking that hip out to the other side and coming around. Hips are pretty sore today. I had a workout yesterday that really challenged my hips and my legs, so this feels good. And hopefully it does for you too. And when you feel complete and ready, go ahead and come back again into that tabletop position. Walk the hands, just one hand print in front of the shoulders. Tuck the toes underneath, bringing the knees up off of the earth. Start to bring the tailbone up towards the sky and we find our downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale here and an exhale out the mouth, let it go. Bend into that left knee. Really straighten the right heel down towards the earth. Release that right heel, no, excuse me, left heel down, bend into the right knee. Just taking our time to slowly pedal this out today. Again, bend into that opposite knee, bringing that right heel down. Should feel a good stretch into the calf and into the Achilles. And one more time, shift to the opposite side, release the heel down. Check in with those shoulders and make sure that we're staying square and firm into both hands, that we're not swaying to one side. Bring both heels down towards the earth. They may not come all the way down and that's just fine. Hold in your down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend into the knees, peek forward, and take a couple steps all the way to the front of the mat. At the front of the mat, we meet in forward fold. Since this is our first forward fold of the practice, it might feel good to put a generous bend into the knees. We're gonna slowly shift both hands over towards the left side of the mat, bending into the right knee. Walk the fingertips over towards the center, and then over towards that right side, bending into the left knee. Come back around to center, and take your time to slowly ragdoll all the way up to standing. Maybe shifting side to side. Just raising one vertebrae at a time. And when we arrive to standing, roll the shoulders down the back, place the hands forward, really feel the earth beneath our feet, and take a grounding breath in, and an exhale out. Sweep the fingertips overhead, stretch and reach, finding that opposition of the palms coming up and the feet pressing into the earth. Left hand comes down as that right hand comes across the body, stretch and reach side body. Inhale up and exhale to the opposite side. Let's do that one more time on each side, making sure that we're not locking the knees out, that we keep at least a micro bend in them. Raising up and over to the other side. Raising both hands up, let's cactus the heart, just like we did when we were seated earlier. Elbows come towards each other, shine that chest up, but keep that belly button in. 
So let that lower half of the ribs and that belly stays in to protect the lower back and be strong here. Inhale, fingertips come up. Exhale, flow all the way down into our forward fold. Bend the knees. Reverse that swan dive. Come all the way back up to standing. And then gentle the palms into heart center. Let's do that once more. Hands reach up, grow tall. Melt all the way down, forward fold. Bend the knees, reverse the swan dive, and shoot all the way up. Gentle palms into heart center. One more time. This time we're going to grow here, grow tall for a moment, melt all the way down, and we'll start to add on. Coming into a forward fold, bring the hands to the shins and find a halfway lift. Flat back. Inhale. Exhale to melt. Bring the palms to the top of the thighs, snuggle the elbows in and find a halfway lift. Gaze is down, shoulders are back. Inhale. Exhale to release, forward fold. Interlace the palms behind the lower back. Find that halfway lift. Flat back. Keeping a little bend in the knees. Release the clasp of the hands and melt down, forward fold. Bend the knees. Find this momentum to come all the way up into tall mountain and then gentle the palms into heart center. Take a breath here. Just feel the energy in the body. Right foot is going to stay forward. We're going to step that left foot back, probably about three steps back for our pyramid pose. So both toes are facing towards the front edge of the mat. We're going to take the hands to the hips and just make sure that they're both shining. Those hips are like headlights on each one of that front hip coming forward. Staggering the stance here. Take the hands and float the palms back. Starting to hinge at the hips. That front leg is straight but not locked out as we hinge forward into a half lift. Right away, we're getting into the strength of our legs and really stretching into the hamstrings and back body. Strengthening back of our the back body, our lower back by keeping that belly in and those shoulders back. Try to keep that belly off the top of the thighs and keep breathing here. Release the palms down towards the earth. This is a great time to use those blocks if you would like and that nose towards the knee. Make sure we're keeping square into those hips and take a breath. Walk the hand prints, just one hand print forward. All of the weight is going to come into that front foot as we start to hover the back foot up off of the earth. It does not need to be super high. Keep breathing. This is very early in our practice, so we'll build on this. Bend that back knee and bring that foot up to meet front foot into our forward fold. Half lift, and then melt down. Bend the knees, sweep all the way back up, and then gentle palms into heart center. We're gonna check in with balance here. So keeping firm into that right foot, all four corners of the foot onto the earth, just start to draw that knee up on the left side. Then lower back down. Knee draws up and palms come up. Lower back down. Once again, knee comes up, palms come up, they're facing each other. Now kick the foot forward. May not come up very high. You might just be a couple inches off the ground and that's fine. This is kind of an odd movement. I don't usually have that leg in front, so I struggle with this one quite a lot. Keep breathing. Bend the knee, keep it up, bring it up towards the chest, 
And then we're just going to step the foot back, land it onto the earth, and now line up the feet and come into our warrior two. So for our warrior two, our front heel is in line with either the back heel or with the arch of that back foot. Legs are about hip width apart. We sink into that front knee and open the arms into a nice wide T. Really strengthening the legs and the entirety of the body here. Just make sure those shoulders are staying stacked over the hips and is not leaning too far forward. Keep breathing here. Back arm comes down to lower back as we raise that front arm overhead. Keep that bend in the front knee. Smile. Feel this nice side body opening. And then come back again into our warrior two. Bend the elbow on that front arm and bring it down to the top of the thigh. Left arm raises overhead. So now we're stacking the shoulders, but we're keeping that arm that's on the leg. We're using that so we can stay tall and not hunch forward. In our extended side angle, let's just get a little bit deeper. So now turn the palm down towards the earth and stretch that left arm overhead. Keep pressing into the pinky toe edge of that back foot and reach and stretch here. Bring the arm back in line with that lower shoulder and then raise back again into warrior two. Hands come to the hip line, turn the toes so we are now on the wide edge of the mat. Arms come up and we're into a big five point star. Turn the toes so they're facing the short edge of the mat, heels are facing each other. If we need a little bit more balance, just shorten that stance, bringing the heels closer together. Arms are into this nice wide, wide V shape. We're gonna bend the elbows, bend the knees, bring the elbows in towards the rib cage and press down here. Inhale, come back into that Y. Exhale, elbows come in, bend the knees. Inhale to rise and exhale to sink. This is really good to strengthen all those muscles around the knees. Inhale to rise. Keeping this wide stance with the feet, turn the palms to face each other. We're going to hinge at the waistline and bend into the knees, sweeping hands to cross the body into our moonflower. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, bend and cross over. Gaze is following these hands as we raise up one more time. And exhale, bend and cross the arms. Inhale to rise up. And on the exhale, we're gonna sink back down into these knees, taking the hands on top of the thighs, drop that right shoulder in towards center, and a nice twist here. Inhale on the up. Exhale, bring that opposite shoulder in towards center, peeking over that top shoulder. Using that palm to press the thigh open a little bit more. Rotate the chest around. Dip that tailbone down. Last little time here for this round. And then around all the way back up to standing. Pivoting on the feet, keeping that right foot forward. Left foot, we're gonna step a little bit wider and find our lunge position. So widening the stance as if they're on a railroad track. Both toes are facing forward. Inhale, bend into that knee, sweep the hands up. Crescent lunge. Hinging at the waistline, come down, bow forward. Place the left palm onto the earth, right hand comes up and twist open. Take a couple breaths here. Squaring the hips, 
So we're pressing that left hip back, I mean, excuse me, that left hip forward and that right hip back. Release the palm, gaze is down. Step that front foot to meet back foot, and we meet in down dog. Shift forward to plank. Lower the knees down to the earth for our tabletop. And then lower the chest all the way down, coming onto our belly. Take the arms out. We're keeping those elbows bent. And we're just making little spider fingers out to the side. So we're going to modify our cobra three times here. Elbows are up. Press into the tops of the feet. Raise the chest up off of the earth. Then lower back down. Again, inhaling up. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhaling up. And then exhale to lower. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. Tuck the elbows in. Tuck the back toes underneath. And we raise up very slowly coming into our downward facing dog. Inhale in. Exhale out. Bend the knees, peek forward, and take a stroll all the way to the front of the mat, meeting in our forward fold. Hands come to the shins, find that half lift. Melt down, forward fold. Hands come to the top of the thighs, right there where those excuse me, from the top of the thighs, meet our hip points and find that halfway lift again. Gaze is down, back is flat, elbows are squeezed in. Inhale, exhale to release, fold down. Bring hands behind, clasp the hands together to create a fist. And again, find our half lift. Maybe bringing those hands a little further away from that lower back. Inhale. Exhale, release the clasp of the hands, release into that forward fold. Press into the feet and sweep all the way back up, tall mountain. Gentle the palms into heart center. This time, left foot stays forward as we step that right foot back to find our pyramid pose. So not quite, probably about hip, lift, about hip width apart, bringing it back. Toes are forward, hips are forward. Roll shoulders back just to feel this. Make sure that we're keeping that knee straight but not locked. Palms float up, chest comes forward, and we find our half lift. Keep strengthening that back body. Keep pressing firmly into both feet. And most importantly, keep breathing. Release the palms down towards the earth and the nose down towards the knee. Walk the hands, one hand print forward. They can be on blocks or books. All of the weight is in that front foot as we bring that back foot up off of the earth. Maybe it just comes up just a tiny bit. Or maybe we raise it up into a grounded airplane or a standing split. Yogi's choice here. You've got this wherever you're at. Bend that back knee and bring the foot up to meet front foot forward fold. Half lift. Melt down, bend the knees and sweep all the way back up, gentle palms into heart center. Pressing firmly into that right foot, raise that left knee up, lower it back down. Raise the knee up, raise the palm up, lower back down. Again, raise the knee up, raise the palms up, lower down, raise knee, raise palms, straighten the foot, bringing it out front. Does not need to be high at all, it can be just right above the earth. Checking in with the balance, 
Pressing firmly into that standing foot. See if you're swaying back too much. If we can center those shoulders over the hips. Keep breathing. Bend the knee, and then we're gonna step that foot back and come into our warrior two. Lining the foot up with that front heel, bend into the warrior two. Keep breathing as we bend a little bit more, but do not shift that weight forward. Back hand comes to lower back as we stretch and reach that front hand overhead. Bend the elbow, bring that forearm to the top of the thigh, and then stack the shoulders here, bringing that left, or excuse me, right palm up high. Reach. Turn palm towards the earth, and then stretch the hand overhead. Keep pressing into the pinky toe edge of that back foot as we extend that arm overhead. Using that forearm to stay tall. And then come back again into our warrior two. Hands come to the hips, pivot the toes so they're to the wide edge of the mat. Open arms out into this nice big <clears throat> five-pointed star, excuse me. Turn the toes to face the short edge of the mat, heels together in this Y shape. Bend into the knees, bring the elbow points in, then press tall. Again, bending into the knees, bending those elbows in, press tall. One more time, coming in and back up. Turn palms to face each other. And now as we hinge at the hips and bend into the knees, we bring the hands to cross over the front and then raise back up. Inhale as we sweep down, bend into the knees. And exhale as we rise. One more time, moonflower all the way down and back up. Place the hands on top of the thighs, bend into the knees, and we'll drop that left shoulder into our center as we peek over the right shoulder. Crossing the body, bringing that opposite shoulder into center, peek over that upper shoulder. Bring both shoulders around to center, tuck that tailbone in, drop down a little bit more, and then round all the way back up to standing. Pivot on the foot so that left foot is forward, <clears throat> right foot is back into our lunge position. Inhale, sweep up, crescent lunge. Exhale as we dive forward, placing that right palm down onto the earth, Left hand stretches and reaches overhead, twisting the belly towards the thigh. Take a breath here. Release the palm to frame the foot. Step that front foot to meet back foot, downward facing dog. Shift forward into plank. And then you can come into half plank or you can lower chaturanga half lift in this plank, and then come all the way down to the earth. Hands are now right underneath the shoulders, elbows are snuggled in. Press so firmly into the tops of the feet that the knees come up off of the earth. And then we raise up into cobra and lower down. Little to no weight in the hands as we raise into cobra and lower back down. One more time, raise up, hold at the top, lower back down. Really pressing into the tops of the feet so much that we can feel our pinky toe down. Engaging in the legs so the knees come up off the earth. Press the palms down into the earth, raise up into a high cobra. 
tuck the toes underneath, and then shift back, downward facing dog. Inhale in, exhale out. Bend the knees, peek forward. Hop, skip, or jump, however you'd like to get to the front of the mat, and meet in forward fold. Hands come to the shins, half lift. Melt forward. Hands come to the top of the thighs, right there at that hip crease, halfway lift. Melt forward. Hands interlace behind the lower back, half lift. Release the palms, lower down, forward fold. Bend the knees, sweep all the way up tall mountain, and gentle the palms into heart center. Right foot stays forward, left foot steps back for that pyramid pose. Inhale, grow tall for just a moment, shift the hips to their forward, and then lower the hands behind, facing palms up, hinge at the waist, and hover. Half lift. Our hamstrings are gonna really love us for this. Release the nose down towards the knee and the palms down towards the earth. Walk the hands forward all the way is into that front leg as we raise that back leg up off of the earth. Maybe we can come a little bit higher this time. And if not, we can keep it down towards the ground. Keep breathing. Find a challenge that is suited for you this afternoon. Bend into that knee and then draw the foot up, placing it down on the earth and finding our fold. Half lift, flat back. Melt down. Bend into the knees and as we sweep to stand up, let's just place all of that weight into that right foot as that left knee raises up. Straighten the leg forward. Keep the hands up, or if we need that counterbalance, bring it out to the side. Challenging ourselves to stay strong here. We've got this. Draw the hands into heart. Start to bend that knee and kick the leg back. Line the feet up and open into warrior two. Keep that breath fluid. Find your alignment, gaze over the front fingertips. Left hand comes to lower back or that back leg as we sweep the right hand overhead. Keep bending into that front knee. Go ahead and put a bend into that right hand. Start with placing it on top of the thigh. We're gonna find a little bit of a challenge here. But first, let's extend that left hand overhead. Shoulders are stacking. We're gonna open that hand on the bottom. So bringing that right hand to the inside of the thigh. Both palms are facing forward here. And use that hand to press the thigh open a little bit more. If we'd like a little bit more in this extended side angle, turn the palm and reach overhead. Stack shoulders once again. Bend into the knee and come again into our warrior two. Hands come to the hips, turn the toes, wide edge of the mat. Five point star, hands raise up. Turn the toes to the short edge of the mat, heels together. Elbows come in as we bend into the knees. Inhaling up, exhale, bend. Inhale to rise, exhale, bring everything in. Inhale to rise, palms face each other, shift through, fold down, bend into the knees. Raise up, lower again into our moonflower. 
last time raising up lowering down raising up this time lowering down bringing the forearms to the top of the thighs left arm stays on top of the thigh as we reach and stretch that right hand overhead keep crouching down into our goddess reach release that elbow down bringing forearm to the top of the opposite thigh and reach overhead with that right hand or left hand come back around to center palms are on top of the thighs tuck the tailbone down and raise all the way up step that right left foot wide turn both toes to the front edge of the mat crescent lunge release forward bringing hands down left hand down onto the earth twist that right arm up stack shoulders release the palm down framing the front foot step that front foot to meet back foot downward facing dog I need a quick flow here shift forward lower all the way down to the earth cobra or up dog tuck toes meet me back again downward facing dog bend knees come to the front of the mat forward fold hands to shins half lift melt down hands to the top of the thighs half lift melt down hands interlace behind the lower back half lift release the palms release the chest forward fold bend the knees and sweep all the way up tall mountain gentle palms into heart center left foot stays forward right foot steps back into our pyramid straightening front leg bring the hands up hover palms behind as we come into this half lift making sure not to lock out the knees and those shoulders stay rolled away from the ears probably feeling a little tired here but hang in here this is the last time lower the hands down lower the knee nose down towards the knee walk the palms forward all the weight is in that front foot start to lift that back foot up off of the earth maybe as high as you want to go or maybe staying down low bend the knee bring it up to meet the front foot forward fold and let's just see if we can transition here right away halfway lift melt down all of the weight is into that left foot as we raise the right knee raise the body come up nice and tall lower the hands lower the foot raise again nice and tall straighten the foot long in front flex those toes towards the shins dorsiflex breathe bend the knee start to kick the leg back line the heels up come into warrior two gazing over the front fingertips reverse the warrior bringing that right hand down to lower back as we stretch and reach left hand overhead bending the elbow bringing it on top of the thigh for just a moment and stacking that left hand, right hand above the shoulder. Now let's extend our extended side angle by bringing that front arm down to the inside of the thigh. And if we want even more, turn the palm down and stretch and reach overhead. Breathe into the challenge, you've got this. 
Engage in the core and come back again into warrior two. Last time, turn the toes to the wide edge of the mat. Five pointed star. Turn toes out, heels together. Bend into the elbows, bring it in towards the rib cage as we bend the knees. Raise up. Again, bend in. Raise up. One more time, bending the elbows, bending the knees. Raise up. Palms face each other, bend into the knees, hinge at the waistline, shift the hands forward, and then raise back up. Again, coming all the way down and through. Back up. Last time, all the way around and down. And then back up. Bending into the knees, bringing those forearms to the top of the thighs. Right arm stays onto that thigh as that left hand reaches overhead. Bend into the elbow, bring it down onto that left thigh. Right hand reaches overhead. Bring both forearms down for just a moment. Place the palms on top of the thigh so we can press up tall. And then pivot on the foot, coming into our lunge. <clears throat> excuse me, with that left foot facing forward. Raise the fingertips up, grow tall. And then bow all the way down into a fold. Hand on the inside of the foot stays down on the earth as we raise and twist towards the thigh. Release the palm down. Step that front foot to meet back foot. Last time with this down dog, feeling how this dog feels different than before. Bend the knees and bring them all the way down to the earth. Nice job. That was a tough flow, but you made it through it. Let's spend some time doing some restoration now. <laughs> Bring the feet out in front. <sighs> Bend the knees, bringing them towards the chest. Let's just take a hold of the legs as we slowly, slowly wind ourselves. I need to find a little more space. <laughs> All the way down to the earth. <sighs> Relax the shoulders down onto the earth and then draw the knees into the chest. Give them a little squeeze and a hug. See if you can elongate that tailbone down towards the earth as we squeeze the knees in a little bit closer. Slowing the breath down. Taking a hold of each individual knee, I'm just going to draw a few circles, bringing the knees together and out to the side. So a few of these hip circles, drawing them together and out. Now let's reverse the circle. Then snuggle the knees in towards the chest once more, releasing the soles of the feet down onto the earth. Placing palms down, let's just shift the hips over towards the right side of our mat, and then the knees are going to waterfall over to the left. Taking that opposite arm out to the side and peeking over the shoulder. You can use that hand to press on top of the legs, but not too much. We don't want to force the twist. A little guidance is one thing, but forcing it is not good. Some deep belly breathing. If you have the head turned, bring it back up towards the ceiling. 
And then release. Oh, unwind and bring the knees back up. Center hips for just a moment. Walk the feet as wide as the yoga mat. And let's just windshield wiper a few times before we go to the opposite side. Knees come back up towards the ceiling, shift the hips towards the opposite side of the mat, and then knees waterfall down. You can take that arm out into a Y or a cactus shape, completing the twist by peeking over that shoulder. Send that breath all the way down into the belly. Using this twist to bring out the spine and to release toxins from the body. Center the head, bring the hands down to help shift the legs back up. Walk the feet as wide as the yoga mat and then allow the knees to TP in towards each other, releasing the lower back. And this might be exactly where you want to stay for your Shavasana, or if you would like, you can extend the legs all the way to the base of the mat, roll the shoulders underneath the back, take up space, and use these last few moments together to really feel the practice in the body. Deepening the breath even more. Begin to find gentle organic movements in the hands, in the feet, maybe in the head. And when you're ready, extend the palms overhead, reach the toes to the base of the mat, stretch, stretch, stretch. And with an open mouth, exhale, release and let it all go. Bend the knees, shift over to one hip or the other, and just pause for a moment into our fetal position. Using top arm to support the head and the bottom arm to support the body. Take one more moment here before we transition into seating. And when you're ready, press yourself up slowly. Meeting once more in our seated position, bring the palms into heart center. Close the eyes down. Just notice from where we started to where we are now, how you're feeling in mind and body. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you so much for joining me, sharing your practice and your energy. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Namaste.